That's right, everybody. It's the weekend and it's finally time for some big updates. In two games, we got huge games updating. Today, we got Ninja Legends. This is gonna be hype, so smash the like button if you're excited right before the video even starts. Can we get 10,000 likes on this? I know we can, because we do every update video. So just bang the like button real quick. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because we got a dope video after this as well on Saber Sim. And uh, this is Ninja Legends update. Let's get it going. So this update has a new island, which we're hyped about, but 50 new swords? 50, that's like a lot. 48, 49, 50, that's like three more than 47. This update includes a lot of stuff. There's a new pet crystal. There's eternalized pets. You need five of an evolved to eternalize it. That's kind of like shinies in most games, but it's eternalized? I don't know what that means. So apparently after evolutions becomes internalized. It's, it's almost like a rainbow pet in most games. There's also new belts, new ranks, new skills, new immortal shuriken. Gain good evil karma from collecting souls. Collected souls are saved as a currency. Bro, there's a lot of things going on in this update. Okay, just smash the like button if you're hyped, all right? And let's get into it. The biggest thing that they added, and it says on the title of the game page, it says dual wield. So that's kind of similar to Saber Sim. I wish they wouldn't directly copy. They're doing that a lot. Light skills and dark skills. Oh, snap. So that's what the karma is for. So you can, you can collect light and dark by defeating good and evil people in the game. And then you get certain skills, like you can get dark skills or light skills. You can kind of choose to be a hero or villain. Okay, I like that. Honestly, a lot of people are knocking this game for copying Saber Sim, and I agree in some aspects, but they're adding a lot of originality as well. Not originality, but they're adding certain aspects. Like, for example, going upwards, they kind of took the bubblegum sim route. I mean, they kind of copied it, let's be honest, but jumping mechanic is pretty unique. I've never seen, like, jumping to different clouds, and then adding these, uh, these little powers, like, that's a good move. So they're in the right direction of making it a little bit better, but Regardless, let's check out this new island. So I don't notice a portal for it. There it is right there. That's the portal. So we got to go to Tundra Island and make the jump to the next area. Let's go to Eternal Island. If you look in the shop right here and you scroll all the way down, you can see right here the new weapons. They're all dual wield and look at how much there are. Oh my gosh. This might take a little bit, Blue Crew. It might. Did they add any new ranks? Let's see. They didn't. So we st we might be able to get uh, max rank this time. That would be pretty hype. All right, so let's start our trek. So we have 11 jumps. Are these clouds moving? Bro, wait a second. Are these clouds literally moving? That's gonna make it pretty hard. I'm pretty sure the clouds move now. Okay, uh, we gotta get to that cloud. They do! Dude, what the heck? They're literally moving. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is tough. That makes it way harder. So we gotta jump cloud to cloud while we're going up here and they move right now. Comment down below if you guys played the update yet and how far you got. I know some people probably got max, <gasps> max sword, max rank already, but uh, I'm kind of just starting. All right, here we go. We got the next one. Honestly, with 11 jumps, it's super easy to, to make it to this, this next area. We're, we're kind of almost there. Look at all the moving, the moving clouds. That's sick. It's honestly cool that they did that. Makes it more of a challenge. All right, let's go to this next island. We can make this jump easy, breezy. There we go, made it there. The coin value is 234,000. So we're getting a good amount of coins here. Hopefully I can make this cloud. Oh my gosh, I might not make this. Uh, yeah. Okay, we made it. Now we can make this island. We got this, not a problem. Let's get some chi right here, there we go. And uh, where do we go from here? Okay, we gotta hit those clouds up. We gotta go cloud to cloud. Dude, I can't believe they made the clouds actually move. That's, that's a, oh! oh, oh that was a close one. Oh, they made the clouds move and it's much harder. There we go. And now we can probably make this island. All right, we're making it. We're almost there. I got to admit, I enjoy that they're making it hard to get to the next island because that just makes the gameplay more fun. You don't just discover the island right away and it's it's not easy, okay? Bubblegum Sim is kind of like that, except this game did make it a little bit different, but they, they kind of copied, let's be honest, but it's at least a little bit different with the jumps. So I kind of like that. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I can't really tell which way the, the clouds are gonna go sometimes. All right, we got this. We got this. This island is mine. And now we gotta make it to this next one, which we can easily do. We're super close. We're almost there to the new area. Eternal Island, I believe it's called. And there's gonna be a ton of new swords there. We, we can probably afford most of them right now, but some of them, it's, it's gonna take a little bit of grinding. So you're in for a treat. Make sure you guys watch to the end because I'm gonna try and cover everything possible in this update. Oh my gosh, what can I make? Can I make this cloud? 
There we go. I made it. And now we go to this island. We are so close. Oh my gosh. We're like right there already. All right. Just a few more clouds. Nope. Actually, we'll hit up this island. Yeah. Made this island. And then we'll make it to that next island. Oh no. We'll just go for it. Here we are. We made it. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We made it to the new island. You can collect 5 million chi. That's actually good. Like, that's actually helpful. It's not like something that I have to purchase. And this is the new crystal, the eternal crystal. It has the ultimate overdrive bunny. This thing is 600K. Honestly, let's just buy one right now. Let's just go for it. Let's see what we get. Corrupted soul dragon. It's a unique. Is that a rare? Oh, nice. That's the 20%. At least it's kind of rare. Not too bad. These are Omega pets though. So I want to try and get one of those. Let's open like two more. Diamond Strike Falcon, that's the easiest one to get. Not too bad. Comment down below if you guys got the Omegas. I want to know. And we got the Collected Soul Dragon. So we'll take that, honestly. Two Collected Souls, or Corrupted Souls, I should say. And then we got ourselves that Blue Fire Dragon. That's epic. The epic rarity, that is. <laughs> All right, here it is. The Diamond Strike Falcon. That's pretty good. Oh, and they give Ninjutsu now. Wait, what? These give you Ninjutsu multipliers? The other pets don't, but these new pets do. No way, that's actually really helpful. We might want to take these guys off and get ninjutsu. Is that worth it? I mean, it's less coin, but is that worth how much I'm getting for the, nin uh, the ninjutsu? I'm honestly not sure what's worth it, the coin multiplier or the ninjutsu, but we're gonna go ahead and check out these new weapons. They're all dual wield, so they're all two sworded things. The dual wield ultra bamboo for two QA. We could actually purchase that already. Oh, we can purchase this too. We're working our way up. And here's the new belts. We don't, we bought a lot of the belts. We don't need these new belts. So we're gonna leave them there because we have infinite, of course. But these are the new belts if you guys wanna check those out. Dual wield crimson bamboo, dual wield corrupt. And then we can afford this one too. So we made it all the way to the dual wield ultra katana. We got six swords in. We're having katanas now, but there's a lot we have to collect still. So this is gonna take a while. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, why are they? I thought they were supposed to be blue. Look at this. Oh, we didn't actually get those yet. We're holding the shadow bamboo. We, we didn't get the katanas yet. So this one does 27 million ninjutsu. That's so good. And then with the multiplier, I'm getting 2 billion. So that's pretty good. I'm collecting a good amount. I don't really have to purchase yet, but if I do have to purchase, I can at least purchase 60 QA real quick and uh, get myself a good amount of, amount of swords right there. I'm not gonna lie. That should be pretty easy. And then here's the skills. Did they add new skills? They did. 12 double jump? How high are they gonna make the double jump? Let's buy all that we can buy. 16 double jump? Are you joking? And then here's the new shuriken right here, the immortal shuriken for three billion? That's like kind of expensive. We could actually buy it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm spending the bucks and I'm going for it, blue crew. There we go. Let's get the immortal shuriken. So this is the best shuriken in the game. Times 23 ninjutsu, 90% damage and 22 max ammo, even though I have infinite ammo. So I don't have to worry about that. Dude, this thing's sick. The immortal shuriken. Oh, I love just spamming this. <laughs> that actually looks sick. It actually pair, does it pair with my bamboo? Oh no, okay, it, it just has a huge aura. I'm just covered in like shiny glowy auras. I look ridiculous right now. Oh my gosh, comment down below if you guys got yourself the best shuriken, the immortal shuriken. And uh, I only have a few more skills to get, so kind of almost there. I do need to do a little bit of grinding, but this kind of takes a minute. Oh my gosh, did I just kill somebody? I'm so sorry. I did not mean to kill you. I was just training. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't mean to, honest. All right, wait, how much is this next skill? It's like eight QA. Yeah, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend a little bucks because this is gonna make time go by a lot faster. There's a lot of things to cover in this, so I, I kinda wanna show you everything. So let's buy our way to the dual wheel royal katana, and now let's see how much we're getting. Three billion. That's much better. That's like double we were just getting. That's what I'm talking about. And then we can get this uh, this double jump now. This one's 15, 17 double jump for 15 QA. We could actually almost afford that already. How much is the most? Is it gonna be 18 QA or is it gonna be 18 double jump? That's a lot of jumps, bro. Eventually we're like, by, the, by like 10 updates from now, we're gonna be jumping like 50 times. It's gonna be ridiculous. Oh my gosh, 17 jumps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh my gosh, seventeen. That's an insane amount of jumps. That is an absurd amount of jumps, actually. That means every single time they update, they actually have to make 
the clouds and stuff higher apart from each other because, or farther apart because now that you have more jumps, they gotta keep making it harder. I decided to go big and just get this for 3,100 Robux, the 346 QA. Now I can rank up. That's the thing, I can rank up, but I think we're gonna go for the best sword first. So we're gonna go for the best sword, then we're gonna start ranking up. We'll be able to get Master Sensei probably close to the best rank because once it updates, it kind of makes it easier to get to the next rank. So let's go ahead and get dual wield golden. Uh, let's just buy all. Okay, we got dual wield inferno, not bad. And I'm gonna go for another Robux purchase. I don't recommend you spend Robux like me, but just watch me do it, okay? Just watch my videos, cause I, <laughs> I make the stupid stuff happen. You don't do stupid stuff like buy a bunch, but I do it. So this one's doing 165 million. Gives me 16 billion with the multiplier. I'm getting an absurd amount now. Oh my gosh, we could let it run a little bit, but you know what? I'm in a spendy mood and I just wanna go big or go home, okay? There's a Saber Sim update soon and I wanna conquer both of them, okay, Blue Crew? Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe because I'm going on a spend spree for this just for you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm not gonna buy that, that's an evil number. We're gonna go for the bigger one. <laughs> we're gonna go for the bigger one because it's not a, a, a scary number. Oh my gosh, we're still not even all the way there. We have the dual wield Ultra Master Psy. These are insanely cool. Look at these, 155 billion? Okay, now I'm actually getting an insane amount. I'm getting a big multiplier. Wait, I don't even have the coin multiplier on, do I? I don't even have the boost on. I could be having a boost. Oh wait, I do, 15 minutes, okay. I do have the boost. I don't have auto train though, we gotta put that on. Auto train is huge because it stacks with your normal training. So like, I could just sit here and it's auto training. And then if I click, I can train even faster. So lots of training going on. We're almost to a thousand QA. Let's see what else we can afford. This one is 5.2 QI. So these things are pretty expensive. I'm going for another big spendy. This game got me spending a lot. It's annoying, but in order to become the best in like five minutes, that's what it takes. But don't spend all your money on this game, okay? Just watch the videos and watch me do it, okay? I'll take one for the team. <laughs> this guy says, can I see the stats of Flying Pumpkin? Oh, they're making a trade. Okay, nice little trade going on. So I'm at 14 QI. Oh, we could probably get the best ability as well. Here's all the abilities. The 55 second invisibility is the highest. So 17 double jumps is the highest you can get right now. That's a stupid amount, dude. That is insane. All right, we're going, we're going big. 226 QI. The spending in this is preposterous, but I do what I have to for you, Blue Crew. We're almost there. This could be the last big spendy. All me Robux down the drain, but it's for a good cause. This is the best one. The dual wield corrupt Odachi or Odachi. We're about to get it. Let's, let's train a little bit. We're getting 8.4 trillion ninjutsu for every click. And we're about to get this thing. How much is it again? I think it's like 275 QI. 275. So all we need to do is uh, just get probably this, 19 Robux. Shouldn't be too bad. We're almost there. Let's buy it one more time. And then this is the best one in the entire game right now. So after this, we can definitely rank up to Master Sensei. But here we go. The dual wield corrupt Odachi. Corrupt Odachi. I don't know how to say it. It's something like that. But this thing is ridiculously good. There we go. Check me out. Oh my gosh, this thing looks crazy. This thing looks insane. There's so much glowing going on. I'm gonna unequip all pets just to show you guys what I got going on. This is it. There is the best weapon you can get in the game right now. This thing looks crazy. This thing's gonna destroy people. The dual wield corrupt Odachi Odachi. I still don't know how to say it, I'm stupid. But this is it right here. So now I can do 17 jumps and I can switch to my shuriken. Hwah, hwah. That's why I respect this game a little bit. I know a lot of people are accusing this game of copying Saber Sim, and they totally did. They copied it, they, they took the model, but they also added a few unique things, like the combat in the air, switching to shurikens. That's pretty fun for PvP, and the double jumping to the next cloud and stuff, that's pretty cool as well. So at least they're adding on to it. Saber Sim, I like both games, honestly. I hate that every game is the exact same. I hate it. I hate that every game just uses cube pets. I hate that. But at least there's some aspects to this that make it a little bit more exciting. So that's the only thing I can say about it, but I do hate the copying, so please stop copying each other, game developers. Anyways, we kind of dominated this update, so like the video if you guys are enjoying. I'm gonna buy some pets, and we're gonna cover a little bit more in this update. We got all the skills, we got the Immortal Shuriken, we checked out the good and evil from collecting souls, which isn't in the game yet. Collected souls are a currency now, so 
For example, if I killed this guy and I took his soul, I would get, I think, a bad evil soul or dark soul. And that would be money right here. You can see the dark and then the light. That's actually currency towards those when that update comes out. So that's pretty cool. This is the eternal, but it says new eternal chest. Oh, that's probably it right there. And then spooky crystal is now off sale. So you can no longer get the spooky pets. Those were limited. Oh yeah, the last thing is eternalizing pets. So basically when you have an evolved pet, like uh, this guy right here, I can eternalize it if I had five of them. So I need five evolved pets. I might actually have five. I have five of electro bunnies. Let's do it. Eternalize. Multiply stats by five. Are you kidding? Oh, I only have one. Dang it, I thought I had five. That it was letting me do that, I totally thought I had five. I can't do it for this one for some reason. What about this one? No, why, why is it not giving me the option on some of them? On, on some of them, it's not giving me the option to eternalize. That's a little weird. Cause like this one, this one right here is evolved. Why can't I eternalize it? This one right here is evolved. Why can't I eternalize it? Why? I don't, I don't get it. Only the Electro Bunny? That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense, bro. Eternalized pets, you need only unique. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so it's only unique plus pets that can do it, guys. So that makes a lot of sense. So they didn't add any new game passes or anything. So we pretty much covered the entire update. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and buy a few more pet eggs. Then we're gonna do something crazy, which I, I was kind of scared to do, but we're gonna rank up, all right? Which basically rebirths. We have to do everything all over again, but it's for a good cause because I know it'll make me stronger in the next update. So I'm gonna buy like five more pets. Then we're gonna go ahead and try and rank up and see how far we can get. We probably won't be able to rank up once. Oh, mini sensei. That's the 15%, not bad. And since they have ninjutsu multipliers now, this one does times five ninjutsu. What? That's insane. Yo, these guys giving me ninjutsu is crazy. If I evolved them, they would be so OP. That would be a lot right there. Let's put experiment blocks on. He's got a really good multiplier put this guy on, we'll put this guy on, and uh, we'll call it a day, there we go. Hopefully I can evolve some of these. Come on, baby, give me some rares. Dark car, oh, that one is uh, the second bet. Oh no, it's the second to worst, okay. I'll take it. Comment down below the best pet you guys got out of this egg. I really just wanna get one of each pet, that's my goal. I wanna try and get the ultimate overdrive or the inner piece birdie. 5% and 3%, it's not that rare. It's possible, okay? We could get it, even though it takes like 10 years to open these pets. They don't have like open three or anything like that. Another Dark Karma, you know, kind of taking a while, but whatever. You guys better like this video, okay? I'm uploading update videos at 3 a.m., okay? Literally right when they come out, I'm doing my best for you. Hopefully you enjoy. The channel's been doing insane lately. You guys that aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe today, hit the notification bell as well. Two videos a day. I don't play. This is the best pet. I thought I could call it, but it didn't work. Okay, one more pet, then we're gonna go ahead and rank up. I just wanna see what happens. So we get to keep our pets, which is a good thing. Let's go ahead and, uh, I think we can evolve actually. Yeah, we can evolve this guy. Let's evolve this corrupted dark soul. 72, oh my God, the, the stats are insane. 72 coin multiplier. That is ridiculous. That's insane. And I'm invisible, I did not mean to go invisible. <laughs> so that's how good that thing is. I kind of want to sit here and just buy a bunch more, dude. Maybe it's smart to just buy a bunch of good pets while I'm this big, you know? While I'm, while I'm this far in the game. I'm gonna buy a little bit more. Okay, just three more after this, just to see if I can get some more evolutions because those are honestly worth it. Then we're gonna rank up to end off this vid just because I want to see my multiplier. Master Sensei is a good multiplier and I want to see what's after Master Sensei because I'm like three or four ranks away from being max rank. Comment down below if you guys got max rank because I want to know who you are, okay? There's not many of you out there. So you're a select few special people. All right, we got a bunch of Corrupted Souls. We might actually have another evolution for Corrupted Soul. All right, last pet. That's the last pet. Oh! <gasps> Inner Peace Birdie, the 5%. Bruh, bruh emoji. This is it, we just got it. The best one, or no, the second best one you can get, the Inner Peace Birdie. And then we can evolve another Corrupted Soul. Oh my God, we got some good pets out of this. Yo, we got insane stuff, not going to lie to you. All right, so we got some pretty good pets here, not gonna lie, but it's time to do what we have to do, and that's rank up. I'm very sad to lose my, my best weapon, but it's happening. Let's do it, Master Sensei. So Ninja Legend, the name of the game is the, is the next one. There's three others after this, and now I have a rank boost of 38. So I'm getting 190 from just using, I'm already at 44 million. 
Like I'm able to just clear this first area in like two seconds. Bam, buy all, I bought, a, I bought them all. I bought all of them already, now I go to the next island. So basically I just need to keep on going to the next island, buying them all, doing all that, rinse and repeat until I get to the highest island again. And then we'll basically just keep on doing this. So that's it for this update video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. And thank you guys for all the support lately. I've just been having a blast making videos and I'm excited that you guys are here with me. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Have a great day and goodbye.